Thanks to clutch free throw shooting down the stretch, the top-ranked Bears fended off the Oklahoma State Cowboys to win 78-70 to and extend their program record win streak to 20 games. We told our team how many in this locker room have beaten a number one. And at the end of the day, there's very few people, players, teams that ever beat a number one team. You're never getting their B game. You're not getting their C game. You're not getting their B plus or A minus game. And you just, that means what makes it tough is that means you got to be on your A game. And it's hard to be on your A game for 18 conference games. And um, But if you want to win, you have to. Mark Vidal has proved to be a spark plug for the squad time and time again, and Saturday was no different. Vidal went for 11 points while gathering six boards, two steals, and rejecting a shot for good measure. Everybody needs a Mark Vidal. Every team in the country needs a Mark Vidal if they want to really, really contend because you know a lot of times you have maybe your third best player wants to be your best player. And I don't know where he falls on their totem pole, but wherever it is, he doesn't care. He wants to go out and do what his coaches ask for him, what his team needs for him to have success. After a string of poor shooting performances, Macy Oteague has come to life, putting up a season-high 24 points on Saturday, including a 4-for-7 performance from beyond the arc. I felt like every shot, I, shot was going in, and I would look after. Somebody told me I was 12-45 or over a stretch, and it felt like I was honestly like 21-45. or So I, I honestly didn't know, but <laughs> felt good coming off my end. So. On top of Vital and Teague, three other Bears scored in double digits. Jared Butler went for 15 points, Freddie Gillespie had 12 points and 11 rebounds, and Davion Mitchell went for 10. Despite the strong performance, the Bears won't have much time to celebrate Saturday's win. The squad will have a quick turnaround as they'll make the short trip south to Austin to take on the Texas Longhorns. No matter how high what people say, whether they like positive or negative criticism, um, I think a lot of us maybe felt overlooked at one point or another um, in our basketball career. So we always feel like um, we have some proof and we're always in the gym and always keep our work ethic up. For Larry at TV News, I'm Nate Smith.